Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update. We've got just a little bit of stuff for you guys today because we do still have a bunch of stuff over on our website and I just realized I completely forgot the tray of jewelry over on the other side of the room. So I'm going to open this up like this mm, so you can start getting like a zoomed out look at some of this stuff and... While I'm over there, be sure to leave a comment on this video. If you're in here during the premiere, hey everybody, I'm ill prepared. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this in the future and you would have liked to have been watching it during the premiere, be sure to sign up for our newsletter. But you'll want to leave the comment after the premiere's over. That way it shows up in the comments and not in the live stream. And that'll put your name in the hat for our giveaway that we have on Friday. But I will be right back. So keep looking at those cabs. <laughs> So now, <laughs> we have all of the new cabs this week are polymer clay um, that has been capped in resin. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for like uh, putting into other polymer clay pieces prior to baking. They glue in perfectly well, super glue binds fantastically to polymer clay. Oops. Um, but you'll just want to make sure that um, baking can sometimes get odd results with the resin. So just better safe than sorry. But we're also super moon heavy this week too. If you guys followed along with, it was our live stream a couple weeks ago at the time of recording. We were making a bunch of these mica shift polymer clay pendant, like cabochons. And these are the cabs that were made in that video. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. I really love these moons though. They wire wrap wonderfully. These guys like this teardrop I think would look amazing set in chain mail. So so pretty. I love that kind of metallic sheen. We have some steampunk moons. Oh yeah. Some nice little color shifting. The camera's not doing the best job on picking up on the colors. I don't feel like that is the camera's fault. I feel like it is the lighting. So, ooh, ah, <laughs> but really though, steampunk. Oh, I love the little gear details. Makes me so happy. In my bitter little heart, it makes me happy. Now, I am gonna show you guys though. Nah my fingers get stuck um some of them are quite thin now they are pretty durable still um but if you guys have any problems with that just let me know but I did want to let y'all know some of these are super duper thin which I think makes them perfect for like earrings and stuff because there's not a whole lot of weight there but just between these two you can see the difference in thickness so something to be aware of gonna take you on another I really like that one of the colors and we'll have more pictures and stuff of all of these guys over on our website back to earth creations back to earth creations dot com so so pretty I wasn't able to get enough of these made to be able to send out in our craft along kits though so it's just the same old handmade fused glass cabochons over in those but that'll be all right we do have some dud bags. <laughs> These are the new dud bags that we have in stock. How do I zoom back out? What? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm still <sighs> figuring this stuff out as we go. But we our duds have either cat hairs in them or something that I run into quite a bit actually with the moons whenever I cast them is that like this one here, the resin didn't quite come all the way to the tip. So that's something that I feel like it just quite doesn't quite meet our uh, quality control. So we have a couple of dud bags for y'all. And then we also have some more of our bulk crystal bags. So these are genuine quartz crystals. And with each purchase you get uh, of the bulk bags, 
crystals, you get one of these Seed of Life crystal grids, which I think are just super cool. You can use it as a coaster or like the base of like a candle holder or, you know, whatever you like. <laughs> and then we also have, for those of y'all who are big fans of our crap boxes, we have restocked them. And I'm going to give y'all just a little flash of what the inside, we aren't going to rummage through it. But this is, I mean, that's a solid mass of crap. <laughs> and what's more is this week's crap boxes are very kind of tumbled gemstone heavy. And I think they'd be perfect for incorporating into some polymer clay and fairy house possibly designs. So for all of our crap box fanatics out there, that's one of them. And now... Let's take a peek at some of this jewelry. We have a whole bunch of ear cuffs. There will be links down in the video description to where you can find the jewelry for sale on our website, or you can just go and click on the shop tab on our uh, website, and that should take you directly to where uh, you can kind of like find the different subcategories of jewelry and types of jewelry and different things like that. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, check out that. Now we always use that non-tarnish wire. I'm gonna zoom back in. Ah, there we go. We always use that non-tarnish wire. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it turning your skin green or having to polish it because quite frankly, I'm pretty lazy and I don't wanna have to deal with that. So um, they're very adjustable. They can fit with or without piercings. Where'd the little baggie for it go? And for all y'all who've been going out to like to the Ren Fairs and stuff, check this one out. That's totally spooky season appropriate. And you can have them just as easily climbing up your ear as opposed to going down your ear too. So, but yeah, they also layer well over prosthetic elf ears if you're into that. Ooh, oh my goodness. So this is another one of our electroformed pieces. Look at that coppery flash, y'all. And this is a double cider. So, oh, so, so pretty. And I'm not going to lie to you, this is not the best angle to be viewing this from, and it's still that pretty. <laughs> and it comes with a chain. Do, do, do. And, ooh, we've got, <gasps> check this one out, y'all. I remember making this. Gosh, this is an older piece. But it's a little chunk of seashell that was ground down into a heart and that we electroformed. Mm, I love electroformed stuff, I really do. Especially for like longer necklaces. Mm, another ear cuff. I love the swirls and spirals and the sparkly faceted stones. And just kinda, we've got all sorts. Ooh, we even have some wee bitty. Wee wee bitty. <laughs> <laughs> little ear cuffs. See, that one can actually be worn as a toe ring as well. Mm, I'm just going to, actually, there's another one. I love those autumn colors. <laughs> so, oh yeah, bunch of ear cuffs today. Ooh, there's another one. Have you ever worn an ear cuff? Like, they're like a ton of fun. Oh, what's this? What's this? How is this one not found? It's forever home already, you guys. What? Oh, I might have to keep this one. I don't know. Oh, look at the flash in that lap. Oh, my goodness. And you can spin the little bead at the top. I kind of love... <laughs> okay, first off, that's, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I love making jewelry. <laughs> But I also love making it and then hiding it somewhere and then seeing it again. Like, this piece is at least, like, six months old. It's been up on our website for ages. I cannot believe that. Um, but, gosh, it's like a little blast from the past getting to see it. This was so fun to make. Such a pretty clap. Oh, and it's got a little gear on the back. Oh, that's just stinking adorable. <laughs> I need to make this, this style of jewelry more often. It really, it sparks joy. Ooh another bludgeoner is what I call because they're kind of heavy so they're great for you know bludgeoning either yourself or your enemies oh the flash and that so so pretty 
Ooh, and then some more ear cups. Nice. Oh, I like that with just the clear crystal. I actually do think we have a tutorial up on how to make this style of ear cuff too. So I really like to do, I mean, all of these are pre-made, but I love doing made to order for ear cuffs. That way, you know, cause you never know when somebody's going to want a certain metal tone with a certain bead color, but we don't currently have any made to order up for, um, like custom purchase right now, but we do have these guys. Oh, that is so cute too. Ooh, what's this? Oops, bumped the camera. Oh, it's one of our very first groovy cabs, y'all. I really like that one. Super cute. <laughs> well, that is this week's shop update. If you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. Um, be sure to leave a comment on this video. That way you can participate in next week's giveaway, which will be one of our cab boxes, um, just like how we send out in our craft along club. So uh, be sure to leave a comment down below and all the links for everything are in the video description. And I think that's everything, y'all. I will see you guys in our next tutorial. So until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>